Hi folks, uh, today uh, we've got another Brinks padlock. This is the 662. It is a 50mm uh, laminated uh, padlock. Uh, that's a laminated body. That's these uh, horizontal steel plates that are all stacked on top of each other and held together with rivets. Uh, it's roughly analogous to a uh, master lock number 5 or the M5, which is the, uh, the Magnum series version. And uh, it actually uses a uh, standard master lock keyway, still only four pins, but the uh, plug is a little bit more secure in there, it doesn't flop around as much. And uh, as we go through it, uh, I think you'll see a few other reasons why it's uh, a decent uh, padlock, or at least not terrible. So uh, we're going to put a thin Peterson pry bar in there. Get a little bit of tension on it, and a uh, standard uh, 23 hundredths, uh, thousandths, sorry, uh, Peterson short hook. I'm just going to reach in there, start feeling around. Uh, let's see, pin four seems fairly loose. Three, gives a click, okay. Two, gives a click, and a bit of a false set. Uh, one is not giving us anything. Try four again. A bit of counter rotation and a lot of noise. Okay, number one just gives us another set. Uh, number three also set. Number one set again, and there we go. Uh, now, unlike the uh, standard match lock number three, you'll notice uh, this has these sort of circular cutouts in the shackle, and that's because this uses a double ball bearing latching mechanism, uh, which is yet one more improvement. Um, key bidding, not bad, and uh, overall, not a bad lock, uh, considering that you can get these for between, I don't know, 15, 7 to 15 dollars. I think I got this uh, for about 7 dollars on Amazon, very cheap, but uh, some places will sell them for closer to 20. Anyway, until next time, uh, have fun and happy picking.